Hi there, and welcome to Flag Identification. The concept of this needy is simple on its surface. The module will show you a flag on a flagpole and four buttons beneath it, all which can be options for the flag listed. When a flag boots up, I will demonstrate the module. So this could be a few things. Uh, it could be Italy, Guyana, Australia, Libya. I know the flags of Italy and Australia, and I am more prone to think that this is a Libyan flag based on the uh, Turkish circle star and the colors on the flag. So let's put Libya. All right. So if you know some of the flags, you can get a pretty decent basis on it. We'll do one more. Obviously, if your vexillogical skills are higher, you'll have a much better time with this module, but you can get something in the Caribbean islands that's a little harder. Interestingly enough, the module will be deactivated after a wrong button press as well, so if you press right or wrong, as long as you press something, it'll turn off. That's a plus, I guess. Here we go. So, I don't especially know this one. I don't think it's Andorra. It kind of resembles the Jamaican colors, which makes me think that it's something in the Caribbean, especially with this exotic bird in the middle, so let's try Dominica. Yes, okay. See, I don't know the flag of Dominica, but I can use enough context clues to figure out what the flag probably is. There's a website, though, that shows all flags of 195 countries in the world with their names. I think there are more than 195 countries. Uh, this is Suriname, obviously. Um, I think there are more than 195 countries, but I guess these are the only ones that the flag identification pulls from this website. Our uh, question is, should this website be allowed? And my argument is, well, the manual links it. In the same way that foreign exchange rates doesn't require an internet, but requires an external site, I think this should be allowed because flag identification links it specifically. Uh, so let's look at this website. I do have an ad blocker on because there are quite a few ads on Worldometer. You can see one down there that didn't quite make it through. Let's say that uh, the next flag shows up and we have absolutely no idea what it is. We don't want to risk the strike. How do we describe this? This is a good flag example of, I don't know what it is. Okay, it's a dark blue, I tell my expert it's a dark blue flag, it has a yellow stripe in the middle, white star on the bottom, like a bang. I go, okay, what are your options? Well, I have Cyprus, okay. Uh, that doesn't sound like Cyprus, what else? Uh, Serbia? Nope, try again, how about Australia? Uh, no, that's the Union Jack and some stars. What about Nauru? Oh yeah. That's Nauru. Okay, I press Nauru. I feel like even if you have no idea what the flags are, if you have a search function and you have access to worldometers, you can figure it out. We'll do we'll do two more flags. I don't personally need worldometers, so I'll close it down. This is Iceland. Or at least I can get enough context clues by where the flag is, because a lot of the flags in the parts of the world have a similar flavor to them almost. Uh, I don't know this one. I can guess by these colors it's not Vietnam. It's not Guinea-Bissau. It's definitely not Germany, so this is probably Croatia. Yep. So if you're having trouble with the flag, context clues of similar flags in the region, like crests, will tend to come from certain areas. Uh, colors like red, white, and blue will tend to come from places like Europe, for the most part, or American English-speaking countries. I don't want to generalize too much here, but you can get a feel for if a, if a flag is in the Caribbean, if it's in Africa, if it's in Asia. I'll do one more and explain my thought process here. Okay, this is Israel, obviously. We have the Star of David. We have the white and blue. I don't feel like you would see just white and blue on very many flags. I don't think this is a flag you would find in South America. I don't feel like this is a flag that you'd find in Europe, necessarily. Maybe Iceland, maybe a Nordic country. 
So I don't think it's Honduras. So I don't think this is Central America. It could be Niger. It could be Burundi. But uh, in this case, we know it's Israel. And again, if we weren't sure, we could check with the expert. We'll do one more. I like flags a lot. I'm a geography nerd myself. Worst case scenario, you don't know the flag. Your expert doesn't go fast enough. Don't hit anything. It'll turn off anyway. It's not like it's going to keep striking you. North Korea, of course, but you can see the red, white, and blue, <laughs> the fake symbol of <laughs> democracy. Funny how that works, right? I always said that red, white, and blue is found in Europe, and then here we are at North Korea. Funny enough. All right, uh, let's cut, I don't know, first. Yep. So that's flag identification, or I guess needy flag identification, if you want to put needy in front of it. Um, I think that the website should be allowed, but if you really don't want to use it, and you're not the best with flags, and you don't have it in your memory of, oh, I don't know exactly what flag this is, I don't want to memorize all the Caribbean islands, you can pick up context clues based on what the flag looks like, or a lot of flags look kind of similar to each other. If it's not a huge country flag, say you get like Kyrgyzstan. I don't exactly know what the flag of Kyrgyzstan looks like, but from context clues, I could probably pick up that it was somewhere in the Middle East. Anyway, um, that's it for this module. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully now you've gleaned a few insights into the world of flag identification.